hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we are going to add jump functionality and we are also going to detect whether our player is on the ground or not so to jump the player we need to detect whether our player is on the ground or not this is because let's say the player hits a jump button and our character goes up so at this stage if the user again presses the jump button an extra force will be a uh, force will be applied to our character again and our character will go higher and if the user continues to press a jump button our character will go up and eventually it will be out of our camera view so we don't want this functionality and we only want our player to jump if we are on the ground so if we are on the ground the user can press the jump button and we can jump and again we can only jump if our player is on the ground so that's why we are going to detect the player grounded position so how we are going to do that so basically what we can do is uh, from the bottom here from this position of the player we can create a small collider circle collider here and then we will check if this circle collider is hitting this ground then it means we are on the ground so if the our player is in the air we will create a small circle collider here and we will check if this circle collider is hitting any other collider so it is not hitting any other collider it means that we are not on the ground so for that i am going to create an empty game object and i am going to rename it ground position and uh, you can see that we have our empty game object and to give it a physical existence we are going to add an icon so you can uh, see a small cube here click on it and assign any icon you want and now we are going to place it near the feet of our player so actually this ground position will tell our script to draw a circle collider from that position only so in the script now another thing that we need to do is make sure that your player is on the player layer so if you don't have a player layer click on it and click on add layer uh, write the name player and press enter and again select it and assign it to player layer so why we are doing this we will see it in a moment so in here as you can see that we are creating uh, we have declared a variable called what is ground and it is of type layer mask and the second is ground position the this will be the object that we just created and assigned an icon and the third is simply a boolean which will be true if we are on the ground and false if we are not on the ground now uh, layer mask will basically tell our circle it will give the information out to our circle what is ground so we have another function here called is grounded so in here we are basically creating an a circle so physics 2d dot overlap circle and the position from where to start a circle we have given it this position 
the empty game object that we created which will be player feeds and the radius of circle how big the circle collider should be so we are passing 0 0.3 and the third is layer mask what is ground so basically as you can see that our player is on player layer and the ground we have is on default layer so we are telling our circle so as you can see that we have this variable here what is ground and we are going to, so by default it will it will be on set to everything and we are going to tell it that everything is ground except our player our player is not ground so when we draw this circle it will always hit the our player collider so we are telling it that this player collider this green this is not a ground and everything else is ground so this is on default layer so you will notice that the default layer is checked so it means that when our circle hits the default layer it will know that this is actually a ground so now after that uh, you will notice we have an two other variables jump force and speed so basically the speed is uh, how fast our character moves left and right and i am going to set it to 50. now uh, let me check the grounded functionality so uh, play the game as you can see that grounded checkbox is checked so if i move my character it should be false but it is not because we haven't set it so i am going to in our fixed update we will say grounded will be equal to whatever value will is returned from our is grounded function so is grounded will return true if our circle will circle hits any layer that is ground otherwise it will return false so save that so it is still not working so this is because we haven't assigned our references so select this and drag this ground position to our ground position variable save that again and hit play now it should work as you can see that as we lift our player from the ground the grounded is unchecked and as it reaches and hits the ground the grounded is again set to true now uh, let's talk about jump functionality so the jump is basically very simple uh, before jumping we are simply checking if we are grounded so now let's remove this grounded from here we don't want to check every frame instead we only want to check when we are going to jump so if is not grounded so if our player is not grounded then we want to return we won't, don't want to jump otherwise we are going to add force to our rigid body on the x axis it will be zero and on the y axis we will put jump force so jump force is a float variable that we have declared here now 
the next argument add force will take is a force mode so uh, we are using force mode 2d dot impulse so impulse will basically add an instant force to our rigid body using its mass now save that and also in the update function right here so create an update function in your script and we are simply checking if we are hitting the space key then we want to jump as you can see i when i press the space button our character is going to jump but you will see a little problem uh, in your game your character will be falling very slow so the next thing you need to do is to create this better jump script so in here what we are going to do is so we are checking if the velocity of our rigid body is less than zero so when will the velocity will be zero so let's say our player is jumping so when it goes up the velocity will be positive and greater than zero but at the moment when our player stops the velocity will be zero at y and when our player uh, reaches uh, and moves toward the ground the velocity will be negative so when the velocity is less than zero it means we are falling and we are simply changing the velocity at y-axis and we are actually increasing the gravity so we are vector 2 dot up uh, we are multiplying it with physics 2d dot gravity dot y so vector 2 dot f is same as 0 1 so at x axis the value will be 0 and at y the value will be 1 so as the x will be 0 so there will be no effect on x axis because 0 times anything will be 0 and at y axis we are simply getting the default gravity and we are multiplying it fall multiplier and fall multiplier is a float variable with value 4 and we are multiplying it by delta time so apply this script on your character as you can see that we have applied it right here set the value to 4 and now play and you will notice that your player will be falling much faster than before so that's it for this video and uh, we will do some more improvements in our character and our gameplay and i will see you in my next video so if you like the video please hit like button and let me know in the comments if you have any problem so and also check the description and join uh, our whatsapp group uh, so that you can get immediate help from uh, uh, other subscribers so there is a community of uh, more than 100 uh, users in our whatsapp group and they are very helpful and uh, if you have any problem you can ask them and get help